In northwest Las Vegas, you'll find this 680-acre oasis, rich with tall shade trees, wildlife, lakes, and historic buildings. And if you're lucky enough to catch up with the right history buff, you'll find out this beautiful Floyd Lamb Park at Tule Springs is rich with fascinating stories of our city's past. We found that person in the city of Las Vegas historic preservation officer, Dr. Diane Seabrandt. We met up with her at the park to talk about this land so rich in history. It was certainly used by the native population because there are natural springs here, and that's what makes it so special. Mm -hmm. And it was also a stagecoach stop on the Bullfrog Mine um, route until it was like late 1800s, early 1900s. One of the oldest relics you'll find here is this adobe hut. Dr. Seabrandt says it was built when the park served as a small ranch in the early 1900s. There is an old adobe hut that is the oldest standing structure on this property. It's, we don't have an exact date on it, but it's between 1910 and 1917. Um, it wasn't a, a dwelling to live in, but probably like a blacksmith shop or perhaps a storage spot. But it's, it is made out of adobe, and it, it's, it's very interesting to go look at it. Another interesting building is what once served as the foreman's house back in the 1940s. So that was where the four men lived, and there's uh, two bedrooms in there, there's a living room, there's a kitchen, um, and it really wasn't ever used for guests, it was just the foreman and his family. It was refurbished in 2010 and turned into the visitor center. Aside from serving as a ranch, there is another, shall we say, slightly scandalous chapter in this park's history. It's a very interesting part of Las Vegas history that not many people are aware of. In the late 1940s, a divorce was not easy to get in our country, unless, of course, you came to Nevada, where our laws were more lenient. So this uh, ranch, it's actually started in Reno, eventually came down to Las Vegas. Uh, this ranch, as well as um, Lorenzi Park, were divorce ranches. And you would come here, uh, it was mainly women, some men, but mainly women would want to get a divorce. They would come here, pay their six week fee. They would stay in the guest houses. They would uh, ride the horses. They would go swimming. They would play on the tennis courts. They'd hang out with the cowboys at night. And then you were here six weeks. You could go file for your divorce and then go on back to the, your state or wherever you wanted to go. In 1964, the land was acquired by the city of Las Vegas and designated as a park. The state took over in 1977 and named it Floyd Lamb Park. The city took it over again in 2007 and renamed it Floyd Lamb Park at Tule Springs. But its historic integrity remains. Something else that remains and is a favorite, the famous peacocks. So in the 1940s, when this uh, property was purchased by a gentleman by the name of Prosper Gumund, uh, he brought with him cattle, horses, a uh, plethora of birds, including peacocks. Peacocks are actually excellent watchdogs, and they will alert you when somebody comes onto your property. And so he brought the peacocks in here. Dr. Seabrandt says some of these beautiful birds are likely descendants of those early peacocks. So if this beautiful park, the wildlife, the lakes, the giant old shade trees and refurbished buildings aren't enough to entice you to visit, maybe knowing its very rich history might lure you. It's on two historic registers. In 1981, it was placed on the National Register of Historic Places, and that's because it has retained its historical integrity from the 1940s. You look at these buildings, I mean, they have been refurbished, they have been repaired, but what you're looking at is a 1940 building. Yeah. Um, and they all range from like 1941 through 45. Um, and then in 2008, we put it in, it was back in the city control, we put it on our Las Vegas uh, Register of Historic Places. And so it is on two registers and that makes it very special. Yeah.